我觉得还是要跟 U I U C 这个事情联系在一起吧。是啊，本来就联系在一起啊。我只是说要在这个事情上怎么样做的更更吸引人，更好看。那怎么，比如说呢？呃，很多人表情的片段，然后连在一起做一个十秒钟的左右的开头。可是现在没人啊。哪儿没人啊？人挺多的，人人还挺多的，我觉得。而且我觉得这有点。boring 就是无聊，哪儿 boring 啊？不 boring 啊！就你，你每天在那个纪录片都是都都是我你屁！因为很多纪录片都是这样类似，很多纪录片都是、啊、都是很无聊的，好不好？我们要做不无聊的纪录片，好吗？但你们说这些都是在在那种纪录片里面，哪种纪录片、啊？就是 BBC 啊、CNC 啊各种放得出来。<笑>我，那你觉得怎么样比较好呢？<笑>对，我其实求啊、uh, ，We're like a, making a Documentary about Chinese students' life in our campus, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign,、uh, which has the third largest Chinese students' life in the United States. Like as a, like a large group here, like sometimes we found there's no channel or like a, no way to truly express our life. We can like many people see think Chinese students still as those. Stereotypical Chinese students, but there are yeah there are some typical students Chinese students, but there are also some atypicals. 对，我其实有个想法，就是那要不做做一个动画，就是你会做吗？我其实不难，我想想看，就是就是几个动画，就几个人合在一起，再加几个建，把再把学校一些建筑元素啊，然后一些画的那些东西联系在一起，我就觉得这样至少。有一种流动性嘛，有一种。想的太简单。嗯。对，你会不会中间溃啊？这个技<笑>技术性要求会不会太强？<笑>技术性，嗯、呃，那你就试一下吧。我觉得，我觉得技术技术这个东西你，你因为主要是花时间嘛，我我可以感恩节我都在做这个事情，我都、嗯、你让我至少试一下呗。你要不要睡觉了、啊？对，那你就大概不用睡觉了，我觉得。你要不要睡觉、啊？我试试看吧，梦想啊，这个是梦想。其他不要睡觉。明天吃不吃？芝加哥不去了，明天也不吃了，就好。那你加油，再见，加油。<笑> OK。Everyone before they go study abroad would imagine a world with infinite possibilities. There are many, many. There are whole world outside there waiting for them to explore, and as a The universities in America do provide these options for for us. So I don't want to see that after four years, everyone turn out to be a one-dimensional, unimaginative screw for this cold-blooded capitalist society. That is, that is pathetic. That is very very sad. So, are you gonna study further? Art history? Maybe not. Art history is well. I think art history is a bit too bourgeois. What, yeah. What, what do you mean by bourgeois? I feel it's not that relative to my life. What What is relative to your life right now? Right now, maybe I'm interested in feminism and、uh, maybe political philosophy. Yeah, I'm thinking about applying for pol political philosophy. Maybe.
and these are the other books for my class. I'm gonna sell them because I'm leaving. What is it? The world literature. There are some novels, Lolita, The Edible Woman, the uh, Emma by Jane Austen. Yeah. Do you like Jane Austen? Who is your favorite writer? My favorite writer, maybe um, Oscar Wilde. Why? <laughs> he's, um, because he is. No, he's, uh, he's very smart. His language is full of witty uh, wisdom. No, uh, uh, there are many witty lines in his, in his works. Yeah. Jane Austen, I don't know, maybe it's because the Maybe because maybe it's because we are in two completely different time period. So I'm a I'm a feminist. So the the theme of in her books are all concerned with women desperately want to get married to a yeah to a to a decent to a wealthy gentleman, and that's well no not my not my type, but. His language is, of course, very, very beautiful. Yeah. Have good English is very important, no matter, especially if you want to major in humanities. Actually, having, have, have, a, have a high score on TOEFL doesn't mean you, your English is good. It just proves that you're good at taking, you're good at taking standardized exam, exams. I, I thought my English was good enough to, to deal with liberal arts courses, but after I got here, after I, I took those classes, they just overwhelmed me. And I, I, refused to, I refused to admit that my English was not that good. I, I was reluctant to go to TA's office hours. I was reluctant to use writer's workshops. Yeah, I know it's because it's because of my big ego. <laughs> um, I used to be haunted by fear and anxiety for for a long time, and there was no one uh, told me that you should find you that you should find a. A community who can really understand you. You actually you are not alone, but they're just uh, they're just no one. So right now I'm choosing like some supplies for the animation for our documentary. Uh, so I'm trying to buy some like a uh, uh, le pen and uh, some pencils. Just you know, I'm trying to hand join this animation, which which is kind. Of, I know I know I never tried this. The pen, yeah, just get some the pen and some HD pencils and. Uh, yeah, just a two B, just for reference. Uh. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. I'm trying to check out. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, so like um. 
like a, I'm trying to buy some like a, the Le Pen our Macron. I'm I'm not sure like a, how much is the Le Pen? Like a, uh, let's check. Okay. I think the Le Pen is going to be more expensive. more expensive than the Micron. For but like if you want to draw something good, you need to invest like a, so it's good, better products. To like uh, to at least finish your pro like your idea to to illustrate your idea better. So sometimes even like uh, my living budget is low, but I still will I try to keep my living budget as low as possible just to get the better products. Yeah, so you know like uh, it's just for dream, right? Yep. You should change. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Jordan. Just we have like a ton of writing assignments every week like for last week we had two like individual submission and then we had a group assignment um for the individual assignment i feel like i don't know why but every time i try really hard like doing like make sure that i got to all the bullet points and I check my grammar using um, the website they they recommend it Grammarly. I I use that all the time, but um, I don't I don't really know like why they just the score was not as pretty as I thought it would be. So um, sixteen out of twenty. So obviously, as you can see right here, it says eighteen out of twenty sad so sad and the comment was the content was pretty good but a lot of your sentences need work and i was like what does it mean because i got four points deduction and it says confusing sentence i don't even know like which sentence it's talking about um here it says work on this sentence here it uh my well i feel like the most interesting course i'm currently taking is german 101 um it's it's interesting because you're learning like a second foreign language but the thing is it's so hard to learn uh the third like the second foreign language in your first foreign language and sometimes it's just it's just bad <laughs> i feel like the pressure is a lot of pressure. Um, every week we got emails um, informing us about the next week's um, up upcoming programs and uh, activities and um, such as um, speakers and um, uh, what's that called? Competition. The Like KPMG has that kind of competition and PwC, they're all coming. It, it's it's pretty intense, I would say. The, D the Dean always email us and um, sometimes she would say something like, oh, as freshmen, you guys should start applying for job shadows and um, you guys should revise your resume. <laughs> and um, and um, just, yeah, I feel like so much stuff going on and have to get used to college first and then it's just, under a lot of pressure. Person,他就他的一个random一个person。哦，就是我就是走进去，然后就是你跟他们说的。对，就是有一个跟办公室一样。对对对对对。然后刷卡进去。啊对对对，我去我去你这里地方。然后他就坐在那儿，然后你就是
doing every day, like check out books, um, help patrons to find the book. And uh, yeah, I sometimes I reshelf the books back to the shelf. Yeah. We have um, main library, law library, international areas, study library, Slavic library, all kinds of things. So you can find all kinds of selections like uh, uh, just <coughs> so because I have like some financial burdens, so I just chose this job like to make some extra money to uh well uh, uh the one thing i learned from my job is you really need to uh, keep a positive uh keep a positive attitude no matter what uh so it hinders your study yeah it hin like uh, it affects my study in a like kind of bad way like uh, because i always have to Run to or run between the the workplace and the my studios. Um, you know, sometimes so I I'm whining about these things, like I just complain about these, and these complaints makes me you know makes my me depressed. And uh, you mean your job depressed you? I would say because I'm international student, like uh, and. Uh, you know, other some international students just don't really need to work. Like uh, they just have like a fancy life. But I'm, you know, like I'm just. So you if you have a choice, you prefer not to work. No, I probably not. It's just focus more on studies. What are you doing? Uh. <clears throat> I'm working on my project for the architecture construction. Measure twice, cut once. Just mistake. Usually, like work until two or three every day, like most of us, uh, and. Sometimes, like, we just don't have weekends, like, just stuck in the studio and uh, working on models because the workload is very huge. And uh, I, uh, right now, I just put my all myself in, like, so, you know, so, like, makes me, like, uh, to be able to stick with it, like, a, a little bit more. So, uh, you, know, you need to. Stay fun with it, like, otherwise it would not would be boring. Like. <coughs> yeah, like, so this is basically what I'm doing, like you see. At the first, I don't really know what I'm doing. I saw like architecture is just drawings, like so. I think, wow, it's an easy major. But now I feel like it's a. It has a lot of more to learn. So this is my sketchbook, my drawing board, my another, uh, well, it's a, uh, what's that? It's a, uh, oh, it's uh, another vellum, vellum paper. It's uh, kind of stupid, <laughs> this project. So this is a hat. <laughs> this is a hat. Like I got this, uh, the inspiration, like from the uh, mosque, uh, mosque in uh, Derry. I mean, like you really have to put effort in your presentation, like because there's some word like you don't don't know. Like I mean, for me at least, as I make these kind of like a. Uh, very like childish design like I can see other like students who who could already like make their like very excellent like I mean very pro professional design like you see this project my friend like make these 
uh, he already like uh, he went in architecture high school in Chicago like uh, for three years, and uh, you see his design is more mature than mine. Like uh, I also made a design for for like this project. You see, our design is kind of uh, you know quite like not in the same level. I. You know, like he's he's like way better than mine. I, you know, the the building elements I include in these, you know, are very very simple. Like I, you know, like so sometimes make me see me like very, wanna be competitive to him. But you know, so you know, kind of sometimes makes me stressful because I cannot really improve myself in a very short term. But then I realize I cannot like be make myself like to be that like crazy about to be com competitive every day. Uh, so I pulled myself a little bit back and I found myself like to improve. Like you see, also these two, this is not very quite a good, I mean, design, but I feel like I'm improving. Like you see the, uh, I, you can, I even want to show you the, my previous project, like uh, in the beginning of the semester, like uh, to compare with these two. Like I, I really find my, I'm improving. Like uh, you see these, and I'm quite interesting about my. Uh, I mean, quite satisfied with my improvements. As I like, uh, you see, I I like that. Hi everyone, I'm Alex. I'm majoring in computer science and, and actually I'm transferred from China. When I'm studying some courses right here, um, the contents of the course haven't covered so much, which means that um, sometimes they just give me a lecture note and they would point out some of the points in it. And actually that's not enough for the whole contents of the course. And what I need to do is to search online, to wiki some keywords about this, to know what exactly it is. And I think it's very difficult because when I'm in China, um, all of the content of the uh, all of the content of the course will be listed on the um, uh, PowerPoints, and sometimes there's, you need to read a book. But uh, right here, there's no book for me to read and there's just some lecture notes and after that you you just go ahead to finish some machine problems and something like that and it's quite difficult and I think um, I suffer a, a very difficult time for this because I need to get accustomed to the system here. I'm a political science and psychology major in the liberal arts of college. A lot of the classes that I took during my four years in departments of history, writings, and English, um, and political science, it's pretty uncommon for me to find another ESL learners in the classrooms. And um, most of the time, it's not because Chinese students are not interested in any of those subjects. Um, it's pretty much because it was too hard for us. It's very difficult in taking those classes. First message that coming out of our was what kind of grade are we going to get? We so worried about if we get into those classes, even though the material is interesting, are we going to come walk out as in a D, a C? You know, even sometimes A minus or B plus are very bad grades for international for Chinese students. So what happened when this type of challenge happened is that you see a lot of Chinese students or Korean students coming together to come up with a list of easy classes or a list of classes that we should take instead um, that we should all take for a better grade that can help us in finding a job or getting into a grad school. Um, you see even the you see even a very large Chinese associations on campus that specifically help you of picking what type of classes that you should take in your four years of college here. Seems we are really focused so heavily on getting a good outcomes in our past K to twelve or even before that education.
So right now I'm doing like some drawing practice for my, um, not for my, for the animation project, for the animation in the documentary. I'm, I'm not very good at drawing, so I just try to practice as much as I can, even in this Thanksgiving break. <laughs> in this break, I put the animation as my pro like priority, and uh, because I think this is really my interest, and uh, and I really think like I can learn like something like besides the school, and uh, which is also my interest. So like this is it's a very raw model like for like um, what, what I'm gonna draw like uh, I try to like uh, develop these thing to to be me like uh, maybe with a glass like a uh, couple of loose loose here I know like just yeah and I try to like uh, choose I probably will choose this one the snake and the walk and the run. 我给你看一下这本书啊这是他给你分析了就是这里这里小没事就是这样的就这样了你那个你就下一组动就是你还是保持这个这个脚放下来啊脚放下来就行不是你手手手手还是一样的脚脚那个对这样子就行了做一个这样子的同手同脚不是这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这样子这
因为家里比较自在吧，有沙发，<笑>可以坐在这边，在网上吧，在网上搜索吧，其实更加快，我有时候觉得。有时候，但是关于什么实验一些问题，还是会问 T A 的。这些东西是因为你网上是搜不到的，专业性太强会去问 T A。其实 Professor 还还不是真的不是很常问，感觉还是 T A 他们回复的比较勤快一点嘛。大多数人都会问你为什么不读，他们就对对他们来说，就读研究生是就是下一步。他们会问我为什么你不读研究生了，这个时候我就会反问他们为什么你们要读研究生。很多人他们那个时候就。就是他们也回答不出，说不上什么所以然，因为大家大家都在读嘛，就是这样子。嗯、因为我觉得很多中国学生很很很厉害，成绩很好，就可能他们来之前也听说了，我们中国学生数学很厉害，理工科很厉害，比美国学生要厉害很多。包括说什么美国的数学，美国人数学成绩很差，来这边我们可以秒杀他们。其实很多事情并不是这样子的。就是说，在中在教育的时候，他们中美的教育有个有些理念上的差别。比如说，中国学生他们所谓的数学很好，我觉得可能只是一个做题目的能力非常强罢了。虽然说我们来这边美国上上一些数学课，一开始会发现教的数学非常简单，可能还没有我们在国内的话，小学生都会做。但他们的数学是这样，是一一直往上去的，从个低的 level 到 high level， 循序渐进，然后会越来越深入。而中国的教学的话，可能是。一开始就起点很高，但是高到一定程度就不不再深入了。他们不但是探究这些数学这些公式的后面的意义，他们更注重于怎么去做题目，怎么怎么去想、呃、挖空心思编出一些题目来让我们来做。可能中国学生做题能力比较方面比较强，但是在深入理解方面并不是很厉害。嗯，那如果现在呃让你给学校的管理层，或者说给学校的这些教师或者 TA。提一些意见的话，或者建议的话，你会有什么样的建议或者意见？其实，呃，对于 T A 和老师的话，其实我建议到真真不是很多。我觉得，我可能最多我就要提的意见就是说，在我们选择专业的时候，应该多给我们一些意建议吧，让我们在我们选之前，让我们更加深入了解一下这个专业，而不是只是说哦，这个专业有多么的酷啊，什么什么。比如说之前，比如说我们 engineering 有这种 engineering open house。他做的事情就是会向很多呃没加入这个专业的，或者高中生啊也好，小学生也好，给他们展示一些非常 fancy 的东西，各种科学实验啊，各种成果啊，这些东西看上去很漂亮、很美好，但是他们没有告诉那些学生，要实现这些东西，中间过程是枯燥的。你可能喜欢的只是那个背后的结果，你没并没有体会到科学研究中间那种枯燥的部分，那些东西可能是你不不不喜欢的。所以我觉得最好应该让那些学生。在选专业之前，让他们了解到这一部分，而不是只仅仅仅是那些结果。对。脚趾够不够大呀？脂肪太大了。啊，尺寸强。It's actually beyond my expectation. Like we have seen so many Chinese students going through their bad experience and challenges over here, but like it's not actually the truth because for those people who are capable of facing the cameras and speaking out their challenges are not even the worst. They're even the better off because, <clears throat> because they have found like strategy to deal with it or at least and some of them even survived in their challenges. And I have met the people who cannot face a camera to speak out their stories because they feel like the hopeless feelings and stress surround them discouraging their expressions. 
and for those people are really the fact of like the worst experience worst experience the Chinese students are going through in the U.S. and they are really the group of people need our help and uh, attentions. But unfortunately, they cannot be able to be put on camera, right? Yeah, like they cannot even be like showing our do documentaries. But I want to say there is like a group of people like them, and uh, we need to try trying to figure out like, some way to access them. There are many. There are many difficulties, I think, for one to talk about her own problems as a foreign student. I'm not even talking about language, you know, because I think all of us come with a cultural imagination of who we are talking to and whether it would be helpful for us to talk about our problems in terms of solving those problems, right? Um, Concerning my own educational experiences back in China, because I had my undergraduate um, and also MA program back in China, most of the time we don't even trust the authorities. I mean, that's the way that we normally understand what the school system, including your teachers, sometimes your parents, right, school administrations, are uh, about. These are the authorities in this hierarchical imagination of our school system. So it's not about talking about, talking about our problems to these authorities. It's about how to hide our problems sometimes, actually, um, from these authorities. So coming to a completely different cultural and, and educational system, that kind of imagination, I found it very difficult to get over. Right. For especially I can imagine if uh, I were an undergraduate student here, I might just trust my own, you know, friends, my peers. Right. But those are the people who actually share the same kind of imagination with me. So that's very ironic because those are the groups that could not offer a different um, kind of understanding of what our real social relations are here. There are gender issues as well, right? I mean, in, even in contemporary Chinese culture, um, there's still very strong, um, the mainstream culture is very strong to give this very stereotypical imagination as a young woman, uh, if you want to be, you know, a respectable, and a beautiful, right, or successful women, you still have that kind of traditional imagination that you cannot be complaining or whining, right? You're supposed to be satisfied with what you have and you're supposed to be the one that actually, um, you're supposed to keep that kind of so-called social grace in a sense that I think it's very easy just to buy an air ticket and come to a foreign country, but it's very difficult to get across one's imagination. And it's that kind of ideological boundary that I found um, extremely challenging to cross. Another very ridiculous thing is that school just doesn't find some like very resource like 
the, some person like have knowledge ab uh, about our um, department to be the administrator. Like right now, the the head of our architecture uh, department is a business business like a as administrator with a business uh, background. I mean, it just doesn't really work, right? Architecture should be more, at least more humanistic, more artistic, not some business, right? Uh, and, uh,